Fly your fair nation. Fly your fair nation. Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. On this episode, we'll be talking with Majan Webster. For those who aren't familiar, she's a longtime violinist for recording artist Diana King. However, a few weeks ago, they tied the knot. And before we start the show, I'd like to say a big congratulations on your union. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Um, it's funny because I've been wanting to interview you both separately or together regardless um, because I'm like <laughs> the biggest Diana King groupie. <laughs> um, oh. However, I am because I always talk about because I'm always like, oh my gosh, she's a lesbian, she's Jamaican. So that's like a huge deal for me and she's out and, you know, living her life and all this. So it's a really big deal for me. Um so you contacted me in regards to the gay agenda thing. So that was hilarious to me because I was actually reading it that morning when you sent the message and I was like, oh, snap. <laughs> so for those who aren't familiar also with um, Equality Youth um, Jamaica, they we've talked about them on the show before, but they're a community organization for LGBT youth in Jamaica. They have events, a magazine, they put on Gay Pride in Jamaica as well. And this is their newest endeavor, I guess. <laughs> called the gay agenda it's a manifesto basically on being treated equally basically it's for jamaica you know to just include gay people bisexual everyone into the community as well as you know government and everything else in regards to how quote-unquote regular heterosexual people live their life so did you read the whole manifesto i did i did a couple times um <laughs> I, when I when I first saw it, mm -hmm. um, I was literally dying. I was just like, "Don't do this, <laughs> no!" Um, because well, the thing is, the term "gay agenda," right? Let's start there. Mm -hmm. From my understanding, and and by the way, all of this is my opinion. It's not like gospel. Mm -hmm. Um, but from what I know, the term "the gay agenda" was made by people who are not a part of the LGBT community. Mm -hmm. And it was basically um, all their fears mm -hmm. about the gay community. So the gay agenda um, is um, just everything negative that mm -hmm. somebody that is not educated on the LGBT community of the opinion. Exactly. So I think that... <laughs> Yeah, they think that we're trying to turn all their kids gay and stop population and, you know, the whole human race is just going to die because mm -hmm. the gay people are going to come and take over and everybody's going to be gay. By the way, it's not contagious. Like, I can't <laughs> touch you or talk to you or cough on you and then you just suddenly become gay. Like, mm -hmm. can you suddenly become, like, can I, you know what I mean? I, 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 yeah, it's ignorance. So, right. So my, my concern was um, trying to take that. They're just going to say, see, 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 mm -hmm. that's, they, 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 they might admit it. Finally, they're admitting that there is an agenda. Mm -hmm. um, and I was, I was kind of uncomfortable with that, mm -hmm. only because it's like the N-word. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, how long have we been, well, not we, I'm not American. <laughs> but, you know, that, that whole debate about whether you can turn that that word into something positive when it came from a really, really negative place. Mm -hmm. Just like the term the gay agenda. Yes. Um so that concerned me. Because, especially because I work in mainstream music in Jamaica. Um where that's that's their excuse. That's the excuse that is used to justify um hate and mm -hmm. Lack you know, of marriage. Yes. Exactly. So it, it made me really uncomfortable. Um, I read it, I read it, and basically what it is is just like they're just like listen. By twenty thirty, we want to be fully included mm -hmm. in the society. Um, we want to write basic human rights that you, in Jamaica you you don't really have that as somebody that's a part of the LGBT community. I mean, yeah, cause I was looking, there's a shift. I was looking online and I was seeing that, I mean, even from experience and knowing people who live in Jamaica, that it is technically illegal to be in a same-sex relationship in Jamaica. and It's not technically illegal, it's illegal. Yeah, yeah, it is. 
And they're trying. One of the things that they have in the uh, manifesto is that they're gonna rectify that so that it's no longer illegal. Right. So. I, um. Hmm. Well, the thing is, well, the thing is, we, we can't ignore that there is a shift, right, in Jamaica. So mm-hmm. it's not as bad as it was in the eighties or even in the nineties. Mm-hmm. Um, I was born in eighty two. I've never, I've never been in the closet. Like ever since I've known myself, oh, I've been okay. gay, right? I've never been in the closet. I've never, I don't know what it is to be in the closet, and I lived in Jamaica for my whole life. Okay. Except for two years ago when I came here, mm-hmm. um, and I was never I, d- I don't have the experience that a lot of gay Jamaicans have, um, like outright direct experiences. Mm-hmm. Of course, I've, ex- I've I've experienced discrimination in many different ways, but I've never been beaten. I've never been. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but um. I think that I think so so that's the first thing, like I think we cannot we cannot ignore the fact that there's a shift in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. However, there is still a, a how should I say? Like a cultural it's a cultural thing. Mm-hmm. Like they define it as part of their culture that this will never ever ever be in this will never be okay. Yeah. You know? And so what what J Flag is trying to do is they're trying to shift that they're trying to make it so that you're not discriminated against when you go and get a job mm-hmm. and you're like... So if, if I wasn't a musician and I turned up to like a bank or, you know, mm-hmm. somewhere... They can't say no to ...to try right. and get a job. I mm-hmm. probably would not get that job even though I may be more qualified than anybody else just because of how I look. Because I look very gay. <laughs> you know what I mean? How does gay look? <laughs> I'm teasing. Like I, know. I don't know. I'm <laughs> kidding. Um, so, yeah, um, that's, that's what made me uncomfortable about it. Um, but, uh, but, 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 but I have to say, like, before, before we get like deep into it, mm-hmm. I just have to say that I'm, I'm not a part of this lag. I've never been. <laughs> um, so, and so, I, I, I too would like to say I'm more inclusive Jamaica. And the thing is, I can't. I can't, having had a couple of days to think about it and reflect on it, I can't criticize what they're trying to do because they're doing a lot more than I'm doing, that's for sure. And I'm okay. saying, like, I, I, I kind of have lived in a privilege my whole life, which is I was just able to, um, to surround myself with other gay people and I was just lucky enough that I was able to navigate my space in Jamaica without being outwardly or directly discriminated against. I'm not saying I wasn't ever okay. discriminated against, but... It wasn't as severe as some of the stories you hear. It wasn't, right. Okay. Or some of the stories that my friends have experienced, I just didn't experience them. But I, but I also can't ignore that Jamaica is still a really homophobic place. Yes. You know? Do you think this is as a result of you being a woman? Why you didn't experience as much prejudice for being Absolutely. Gay? I think, yes. I think it's a result of me being a woman. Um, I think it's a result of me n- not growing up in the ghetto, quote-unquote. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not like... I was going to ask you that next. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not uptown at all. I grew up in Donovan. Okay. Um, I went to Walmart. Um, my friends were kind of uptown, but not me. You know, my mom is a teacher. My mother is a single parent. She had three kids. She 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 just recently retired from Excelsior High School, so I'm by no means uptown. Okay. (laughs) But um, I do. I think it's a result of 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 all those things. I also think that the reason that I was accepted in music as well was because I played. I didn't play. I hate saying this because it sounds weird, but. (laughs) I did not play like a a, a regular quote unquote a regular instrument yes. like keyboard or like guitar. I played violin and that made me unique. So people would look past like when I played before I played for Diana, I played for Jacure. Oh, okay. And and I was fired from playing for Jacure because people started to come down on him because oh, of the wow. rest of man and him as like an old yeah. lesbian playing in his band, you know. 
um, there were other there were other issues surrounding why I ultimately got fired, but that was a that was a big part of why I got fired from paying for cure. You know what I mean? Okay. So yes, I do think that. That's crazy. Were you, well, you've been out all your life. You said, was Diana out at the time when you guys met for you to play to, play for her? Um, She wasn't out when I met her, but she but she was in, she was gay. Okay, but she knew within herself, uh, she, though. She knew, yeah, she knew. Okay. She, was in, she was in, she had been in previous relationships before that, so. Okay. Okay, that's cool. See, because I didn't even know that you played for Jakir, so I'm just like, oh, snap. That's <laughs> that's amazing. How did you get introduced to the violin to begin with, though? Um, I went to St. Charles Primary School, okay. um, and there there was there was a mandate by, I think it may have been Edward Thiago. Mm-hmm. Um, he was friends with Olive Lewin. Um, Dr. Olive Lewin, she's... Um, she um, curated the folk music, Jamaican folk music. Okay. And put it together. She was a musician. She she studied at RADA, I think it was, or somewhere. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> but um, so they were friends, and he, he, at the time, he was heavily involved in music, as you know, and he got her to to teach violin in schools. Okay. And certain so was one of the schools, and I, I'm not really sure why, but... Ten students were chosen to to go and learn violin, and I was one of them. I have no idea why. Just okay. sure luck, you know. <laughs> Did you play any That's other instruments? I, I started no. I I started learning to play violin. I didn't. I've not been taught any. I do play other instruments, but I I didn't. You know, like I don't have a degree in guitar. Or oh, something, okay, so. so it's all self-taught for the most part. Everything outside of violin. Yeah. Okay. So, right. So I wouldn't. So like I wouldn't call myself Mijan violinist slash guitarist mm-hmm. slash piano. I would never <laughs> do that. Like, you know. Um. But I mean, that's just a. That's just um. That's just like a natural step. It's just it just progresses naturally. Like if you're a musician, you know, it's very very likely that you're going to try other instruments and be good at them. Like, if you know music, yeah. you can basically apply it to, um, to whatever instrument you want yeah. to learn. Okay. So it's not, so, so being, so being a musician and then teaching yourself to play another instrument is not really a big deal. Okay. Um, what's the first song you learned to play on the violin? I learned to play on the violin. Okay. All right. Um, the first song I learned to play on the violin, I'm going to go ahead and say Twinkle Twinkle Little Star <laughs> just because that's the first song everybody learns to play on the violin. And because that melody, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, is very popular, it's the ABC mm-hmm. melody, it's like, you know. So, um, yeah, that, I think it may have been the first song I learned to play. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true because they really do teach you that because I played piano for a little bit and that's definitely one of the first songs they teach you how to right. play. And um, right. Mary Had a Little Lamb and stuff like that. And Mary Had a Little Lamb, exactly. Yeah. Did um, I learn to play Mary Had a Little Lamb? I don't think it's... No, I, I didn't do Mary Had a Little Lamb. <laughs> but yeah, sorry. Go. <laughs> You're fine. Um, What's your favorite song to play on the violin? Oh, God. Um... My favorite song to play on the violin, jeez. Uh, well, um, my favorite song to play on the violin may be my favorite song at the time. Okay. So, like, no, I'm I'm listening to a lot of Drake. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I don't know. What's my favorite song to play on the violin? Um, gosh. I don't know. Maybe it sounds like Teen Spirit. Oh, Nirvana. Okay. <laughs> oh really? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm a, I'm a Kurt Cobain stan. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. See, <laughs> that's funny that you said Nirvana because I'm looking at, well, I've been looking at you guys' page. And I'm just like, I know y'all listen to other music because <laughs> you just look like really chill like down to earth like just music lovers as a whole not necessarily just by category type of thing you know what i'm saying 
No, I mean, no, I, I'm a musician. Mm-hmm. I listen to everything. You know, I, I won't listen to like an extent period of country music. I don't, I can't do that. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but I love, all, I love all types of music. I love classical music. Um, I love rock music. I love my least, my least favorite genre is, is probably country music, but I like <laughs> everything. Okay. Um, so. I see that you guys have been to, um, New York Pride. The Pride Parade. New York like, Pride. Have I? I have think. You? Or which Pride have you guys no, been to? Um, together. Mm-hmm. Um, gosh. Uh, which Pride have we or been separate? Together? Either way. I mean, I've been to New York Pride. I've been to. Um. I think I think New York Pride was I, I went to New York Pride in two thousand and four. Oh, wow. I think the next time I went to a Pride was was with Diana. We've done Toronto Pride. Mm-hmm. We've done um, San Francisco. We've done Silicon Valley. Was that the same Pride? I don't remember. Um, we've done a few. We've done a few. Did you guys play there, or you just went as regular patrons? We no, we performed. Okay. That's pretty good because I was yeah. gonna ask if you guys have made it to Chutney Pride in New York. It's on the same day as um the regular Pride Parade, but it's literally like another block over, <laughs> and it's no. for Caribbeans. <laughs> no, I haven't been to New York Pride together. I went to New York Pride in two thousand and four, and I I didn't last very long because <laughs> it was so crowded. I was like, geez, yes. no, 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 it's too crowded. Mm-hmm. I mean, I had a good time though. It was the first time that I was that I had left Jamaica. And 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 was in a space where it was just like okay, you know. I mean, it's it's always okay to see myself in Jamaica because mm-hmm. I just really didn't care. But mm-hmm. you're always, but you always know, you always know that yeah. people are like, oh, that's mm-hmm. okay, you yeah, know. You're always I mean? conscious of it, yeah. Right. Have you? So, did yeah. you go to any parties in Jamaica that were like gay oriented? Because I'm hearing stories yeah, from I went people. To, I went. That it's going on. I went to lots <laughs> of gay parties in Jamaica. Oh um, <laughs> I started going. The first, the first party that I went to Jamaica was I was kind of like awestruck. Um, um, imagine. but it was like it was like a, it was probably like two hundred guys and like oh, four man. or five girls there. Of course. And so yeah, and then I went to a couple of parties like that. Um, my friends had a couple of parties as well. Yeah, I've been to several parties in Jamaica, okay. and they've progressively gotten better. Okay. Um. Yeah. Better as I far as what still, though? Like as far as inclusive, inclusive as far as with women or just the event itself? Yeah, it better in terms of um more women. Mm-hmm. Um, better in terms of the music. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just better in terms, just just overall. I think the issue that earlier I had with going to parties in Jamaica that it was that it wasn't a lot of women. But then girls started having parties and then it was like, whoa, oh my God, look at <laughs> okay. all these girls, yes! And then, um, yeah. Okay. See, because I'm hearing these stories and I'm like, I don't know. But then again, I live here. What stories so are I'm you hearing? Like, no, just that there's actual parties going on. There's LGBT parties. But I live here and I've lived here for most of my life. So I don't know the community and what it's like to be gay in Jamaica as a whole. You know what I'm saying? So I can't necessarily mm-hmm. like be like, oh, I'll just come from far and then go to Jamaica and say, oh, I'm going to a gay party. Like, I don't. Because of just the stereotype, because even though I love Jamaica down at the same time, I'm not ignorant to the fact of how Jamaica is when it comes to homosexuality. So I still have this apprehension, like, uh, I have to know somebody that's going and have been going before I can say, yeah, I'm stepping foot in this event. (laughs) Well, what I will say is that there definitely has been a shift, you know. Um, It's not as bad as it used to be. And, And actually... Um, a lot more of the LGBT community um, will go to mainstream parties mm-hmm. and they will be themselves and people will be upset. <laughs> well, let, let let me just 
actually all the way real. If you go to an uptown party, then you can kind of, I mean, guys won't be like dancing on other guys or anything. Okay. Um, but, I mean, definitely, because... It's more comfortable. Them, I'm more comfortable. But um, it's not, it's not, it's not as bad as it used to be. But I mean, the two guys still can be all in a party dancing on yeah. each other. That's just, that's not going to happen. That's not, not in a mainstream yes. party. No. Yeah, the privilege of happen. being a woman, that's where it comes in. <laughs> the privilege of being a woman and also the privilege of being uptown. Yes. And, you know, yes. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's real. I keep my eye on like a lot of events and things like that that goes on back home and I see the progression like even in like last week I was talking about how the JMMB bank has a gender neutral bathroom and I'm just like yo in Jamaica like in Kingston that's crazy to me so it's like I know they're making progress I've also even heard that they have a gay pride in Jamaica like a pride parade mm-hmm. and yes yeah, that did that did have a gay that actually, actually that that was really, um, I was really sad about that because that was when I had just started being up here for most of my time. Mm-hmm. And um, so so I've never actually been to a Jamaica Pride. But um, Jamaicans were really upset and, and security was, was you know, was like a, a really big um, concern. I but, can understand that. But um, it happened. It happened yes. and it happened without as far as I know, um, without any incidents. And, um, yeah, that's progress. You know, you know what I mean? Very much and so. so. And, and so that's why I'm, that's why I'm proud of JFLAG. And that's why even though I may not, even though I may not, um, I don't want to say I, I may not agree. Like, I don't want to say I disagree. <laughs> but even though I may have concerns about, um, about the way that they choose to, to to, to do it they are making progress you know what I'm saying but it's clickbait though like of course everyone hears gay agenda and they're automatically going to gravitate towards it because of the stigma like you said earlier how we're trying to quote unquote take over the world and eradicate population or whatever it is so outside mm-hmm. of the title what are your other concerns with the manifesto um, my concern is not with the manifesto. My concern is with the, the name of the manifesto, okay. which is the agenda. Because I think that I think two things. I think the term the gay agenda is rep, rep, right now as it is represents something that is very negative. Yeah. And number two, I don't think. In my, and again, this is my opinion. This is not you know, but I don't think that um, that. Je- is 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 visible enough to mainstream. J flag is very, in my opinion, J flag is visible to the LGBT community in yes. Jamaica, and, it, and they made it visible to corporate Jamaica, and mm-hmm. they made it visible to um to people who pay attention to them. Yes. And they might get some buzz going around gay pride, like everybody's going to be like, "What do you mean they might have pride in a Jamaica?" Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But in but in but if something big doesn't happen. I don't, I don't think they're visible enough. So when you have somebody like um, a Queen Africa or a Rodney Price, um, Bounty Killer, sorry, mm-hmm. that will go on it. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that will go on, go on somewhere like on stage or ER or you know or or anything that's mainstream in Jamaica. They go on the radio and they do interviews and they talk about the LGBT community in a very very uninformed, uneducated, mm-hmm. illiterate, dark way, then I on, I personally feel like the next week somebody from J Flag should be on the program. Mm-hmm. The same program debunking everything that they said. Yes, shedding because, light and informing because them. yes, because what will happen is that all the things that they're misinformed about and they're talking about it that's the only thing that the wider society is left with. They're exactly. not left with an explanation. They're not left with, well, actually, what he said about that is completely wrong. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. They... So when, 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 when J. Flat, so, so my, my thing is always this. 
you can put up like the the the, in, the, the interviews that I watch. I'm not a reader. I watch YouTube. Okay, I'm the opposite. I watch, <laughs> I watch TV. I listen to the radio. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. That's most as a people musician, though. Every week, I watch on stage just because I want to know what's happening in music in Jamaica or whatever. Mm-hmm. A press release never, ever, ever, ever anywhere comes up in my feed or timeline. You know what I mean? So when so when somebody says to me, "Oh, just read our press release," we answered that. We spoke about that. We we'll put out a press release. I'm like, who is reading a press release? That's funny. Nobody. Everybody's watching on stage. Yes. You, you know what I mean? My producer said the same exact so, thing. <laughs> so 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 my issue with the agenda, my issue with the agenda is not the fact that because because let's be honest yes we do have an agenda we do have an agenda we want human rights we want exactly. basic human rights that everybody else has Equality. you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. but the thing is we can't just call it the gay agenda and say we're trying to turn it positive <laughs> and then not do the work behind it because 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 if 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 let's just say that you know some idiot artist or some idiot anybody comes across this 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 agenda. First of all, I read it. I read it like six times. I had it is to read extensive. It because, <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. And I had to I had to force myself to read it because it was important enough for me to read it, for me to understand it, so that when I have a conversation with other people about it, I'm informed about it. No. There are a lot of people who are not that invested in it. Their exactly. own, their only investment is to be able to say, "See, they've admitted that they yep. have an agenda, and they have no idea what the agenda is." Yep, that's that's what I'm concerned about. I can completely understand that, that though, because, like I said, it is an extensive read. It is pages upon pages of information, and granted, the information is valuable. I like their plan and everything, the goal, and that they set a reasonable amount of time for when they expect to achieve this or at least have it in place so that it'll start move that way but like you said like most people are watching youtube and watching videos and they're not necessarily sitting down and reading so if somebody isn't a part of the lgbt or isn't caribbean or isn't doesn't have any real care for what it is they're not going to read it like you said they're just going to see the gay agenda and be like hmm. <laughs> and you know what exactly. I'm saying? it just adds to the exactly. negative connotation and, right and, and 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 my concern is that it will be counterproductive if if the work isn't done yes. behind it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, like, the random 18-year-old youth in Jamaica that listens to dance hall every day, mm-hmm. or that goes to church, mm-hmm. or that goes to school, mm-hmm. where, um, I think it was sometime last year, or probably the year before that, by now, the head of the guidance council, the head of the, what is it, the head of the guidance counselors association in Jamaica sent out a memo to teachers in Jamaica, to guidance counselors in Jamaica to say, do not engage in a conversation with a child that, that feels that he or she is gay because it is illegal to be gay in Jamaica. Wow. Like, th- like, that's not, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so that's so basically, now, so that's now, something that, so wow. So, so we're being brainwashed. At school, at church, we're being brainwashed at home. Yes. You know what I mean? My mother never, to be honest, I feel like the, the reason that my mother is really, really, really okay with with me being gay is because she just realized that she just can't fight it. So she you know just got I mean? comfortable with it? She just very recently got comfortable with it. Like, wow. when, like when I say recently, I mean like very recently. I think the, the Orlando shooting, she was just like, yo, John, all that rough. And then she and I had a conversation around that. You know what I mean? But also, the reason that she got to a place where she was better with it was because she was here for an oh, extended period. Okay. She wasn't in the noise of Jamaica and the and the the confusion that happens around the LGBT community. When did you come you out to I mean? her? It took. I never, I never really came out to her. I mean, I didn't really come out to her. Um, but she, but there was. Um, there was overwhelming proof <laughs> when I was about 15. Oh, okay. She found, like, she found, I think she read my diary or she probably oh, found out. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> yeah. 
but I mean, when you have conversations with her, it's like she can't really. She 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 kind of knew. I mean, we were having fights when I was like four or five because I was trying to wear my bottle to it. Oh wow. Yeah, and like my mother went out and bought like a, a myriad of dresses oh, with frills and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I went through that. And I used that. to hide them. And like when we're going out, I used to hide hide all my clothes so that we couldn't find my clothes. I mean, now that you think about it, it's so ridiculous. Like, it's not, it's not a big house. The clothes, clothes is somewhere. Oh, man. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I forgot what my point was. That she's what more comfortable with it <laughs> due to not she, being directly right, she's involved. More comfortable. She's, she's, she, she got more comfortable with it because she wasn't in Jamaica and so she had a different experience. And, and the conversation on the news and on you know what I mean? Yeah. Was different than the one that happens in Jamaica. Yes, and America is also on a faster path of trying to normalize it so that it's not as right. negatively, you know, reflected. Right, 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 right. So that was my point. My point was that when I when I randomly see youth in Jamaica now, cares about the gay agenda, he's not going to go on jflag.com to read the whole manifesto. He's not going to to to, to try and find out what it is. So just the average person in Jamaica, they're going to see what's out there. And in my opinion, there is more destructive material out there True. Than, 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 than what a gay flag is saying. And I'm not saying that a gay flag is not saying enough. I'm saying I don't see it. And if I don't see it, a lot of other people don't see it. Exactly. And I look for it. Mm-hmm. You know? So... Even if it is out there, then there needs to be some kind of switch or change around how it gets out there and who it goes to. Because exactly. I'm not, I'm not reading the newspaper. I'm not reading their editor. I'm not reading. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm because... on YouTube. I'm listening to the radio. <laughs> I'm watching TV. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And. I was looking into it after they released it and everything. And I saw that they had like a conference where they videoed it on Facebook and they had like a Mm -hmm. group of people come in and they can ask questions and all types of things. And I'm like, that's a good direction as opposed to putting out this however many page thing saying, hey, read this on something that you probably don't really care about. So I feel like if they did like, like you said, like you watch YouTube, a lot of people watch YouTube, put out a, a minute clip on Instagram saying, hey, this is this, you know what I'm saying? Instead of, I mean, I get that as the backstory, but like you said, to put in the work, they should probably do something more to the sense of a visual stance. You get me? So it's uh-huh. something that people can just click on and it's not something they have to really invest in to get to know, get the knowledge, you know? Right. So I don't know. I mean, right. <laughs> I just, I, I like, well, I mean, again, this is just me. Like maybe it really is out there. I just can't find it. But <laughs> I, I think, I think it's, I think it's, it's too easy for me. It's just too easy for me to come across, um, for me to come across some idiot saying, um, saying some hateful, I, I'm, by the way, the mm. reason I stone, um, I keep stopping in, in between my sentences is because I curse so much. Oh, I don't mind. <laughs> I, don't I mean, really, it's for your own representation. I'm really <laughs> on not cursing. <laughs> like, yeah. But, um, yeah, it's just, I don't think it's too easy for me to see the other, the other, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I really feel like the only reason I know about the gay agenda is because I follow equality. Exactly. Really. Same here, because I, I completely understand what you're saying, because, same thing. I follow all of their pages, trans wave equality, all of the the pages. So it's on my timeline. And the people I follow are also people who are a part of it and who follow it also. So I'm going to see it. But the quote unquote average person probably will never, ever come across this. So let's say like I'm talking about this on the show right now. I'm saying the gay agenda, right? Somebody can mm-hmm. hear about it and say, oh, the j- gay agenda. And they see this thing, they see the cover and they're like, oh, look, they're trying to, you know what I'm saying? And it feeds into that negativity. Yeah. But right. someone else who is Caribbean and gay or something of the sort will hear about it and be like, oh, what's this? And they might look into it. But at the same time, like you said, most people are looking at fast things. Like, you know, my producer says it's clickbait, but it kind of... Like you said, it kind of spreads a negative connotation that we have this negative agenda of eradicating <laughs> or whatever it is, this foolish idea. Because in the right. first, what is it, the first page or something like that of it, I read and they're talking about, you know, how 
people, physicians and school teachers and regular veranda talk, they talk about, you know, how gay people are trying to take over and they're trying to feed it into the children's minds and corrupt and all this. And it's true. It does happen that way. But you coming out and saying the gay agenda, I understand why they would use that name. Like I said, it's it's clickbait. It's going to draw people's attention. But at the same time, you should have made it in a smaller dosage so it wouldn't be such an like such an investment to find out what it's about you get me right but i don't i yeah. don't know i feel like uh, they they had the press conference and i feel like that was a good thing too but the attendance rate how many people knew this was coming on because i didn't even know they were planning to drop it until the morning i wake up and saw it yes i knew that they i i, I knew that they were going to do it because i because I was seeing on their timeline, they would they would get quotes from people saying, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. um, um, this is what this is what I'd like to see. This is this is the this is Jamaica I'd like to live in, and I'd like to use the gay agenda to do this. And it was like a hashtag, the mm -hmm. gay agenda. And I saw that, and I was just like, oh my god, what <laughs> are they doing? Who is yes. who makes these decisions? I, I don't understand. And then um, I, th I think it was last week or something. I saw that they were going to 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 launch it, okay. have an official launch of the gay agenda. And I messaged, I messaged them on Equality JA, and I was just like, "Yo, it's also productive." <laughs> and and um, and I'm like, "Yo, this is not a criticism. It's not a critique. I'm not trying to, you know, because." It's very, you know what, it, and it, and also it is very easy for me to sit in my Florida privilege that I live in a house with my wife and we're living our lives because we don't live in Jamaica. You know okay. what I'm saying? So it's easy for me, and 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 one of the reasons that I, that 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 I'm trying to be careful now too is because it is very easy for me to sit here and criticize what Day Flag is doing because I'm not a part of Day Flag and I can have all these opinions on all the things that they should be doing. But the fact is, they're doing it, and I'm not. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so I acknowledge that I do. Yeah, I respect um, that. Right. So I message them. Uh, I'm, I'm get, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> my concerns it isn't. And I was just like, yo, you know, I, I don't know. I think this might be counterproductive. And they messaged back, and they said, um, you know, read, read the, read the manifesto, and 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 uh, and um, and tune in to our launch. <laughs> so I watched it on Facebook, and um, I mean, I think, I think, I think not to be not to be negative and not to um, and not to to be hard on them and criticize them. I think that they really are doing the best thing that they think. And and I was having a conversation with one of my friends about it, and she made some really good points. Like, I mean, at what point do we kind of push back against all the negativity that's happening in Jamaica? Yeah. And if calling it the gay agenda, we get conversation going because if you call it, I don't know, whatever <laughs> else, our goals, inclusion, <laughs> yes. visibility nobody is vital. Would care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like nobody would care. But I guess it will generate a conversation. Um, this is a, it's, it's a more controversial name, and it will generate yes. lots of conversations. I'm hoping that it does that, but I'm also hoping that when a conversation is being had about it, there, there, there are or is enough material out there for people to to, to know what they're talking about. I mean, it's, it's, it's that is informative. It's very simple for lots of people to sit around and talk about the gay agenda and not even read it mm -hmm. and just think that it's something that were finally admitting to and not thinking to themselves, no. I mean, everybody has an agenda. True. Everything that you do has intention behind it. You know what I'm saying? This is true. Ha pardon? No. <laughs> My producer was saying that most people only read the headlines, though. So Exactly. Exactly. That's what's concerning to me. Like That but, I'll stop there. But, but um... But but I'm but but what I'm proud of is that they're taking steps. Yes. You know? Yes. They're taking steps and it might not be it might not be the way 
I do it or it might not be the way you do it or it might not be the way, you know what I mean? But, they, but they're doing a lot more than I'm doing. Oh, so I definitely true. have to like fall back and give them that, you know? Yeah, they get the props for that. But I mean, like you said, yeah. we don't know exactly what other methods they have like pre-planned for moving forward. I heard them saying something about, you know, talking to officials and making sure these laws get passed and, you know, that we're included in all these other things. But as far as media goes, like I said, smaller snippets, because you tell somebody to read this, like I said, <laughs> It's mm-hmm. it's a read. It is a read. Like you have to sit down and really be invested to say, okay, I'm gonna read this whole thing front to back, and you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying to get an understanding and try to of understand this. It. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know what the thought process was behind. I feel like that's something that they should have probably presented to like a counselor or something like that, and say, hey, this is our plan. But as far as to the general well, public, well, 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 we don't know. We don't know what I well, I certainly don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know how they, they came about um, how they were going to, to present it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just saying I want to see it in mainstream. Yes, definitely. You know, um, but again, I will say it's very easy for me to say I want because I'm not there. Yes. You know, because but, you don't um, know what they have to I go just, through to even get it to this point. Exactly. 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 Yeah. But I'm happy that it's happening. Same. I'm happy that it's happening. And, you know, I mean, we're out here calling each other the N-word. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. <That's, laughs> Amber was out here having a slut walk. Mm-hmm. They're trying to take I mean? back the name. That's that's what I was saying, too. Exactly. Because they're trying to reclaim exactly. the name as taking it from a negative outlook and turn it into something positive or, quote-unquote, normalizing it, like I like to say. Mm-hmm. The same way how they're trying mm-hmm. to normalize the N-word and many other words so Mm -hmm. i i understand it from that take but at the same time i'm pretty sure in the beginning when we started trying to say the n-word it was probably you know a lot of backlash from other black people well there's still backlash because some black people still don't like to use the word so i i i I get it i don't know that any yeah i mean i don't know that any i don't know that anything any big change that happens is like a really really easy thing you know i think that. Um, I was in this huge argument with Diana about it, and I was just like, yo, you can get from point A to point B in a straight line. Why would you want to check, like, a zigzag triangle, then a circle, then walk in a square? Mm-hmm. You know, it's going to be harder or whatever. But, you know, she made a good point. She was just like, yo, sometimes when things too easy, don't happen, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, so, like, I, I just, I just, I was, I was just concerned that it might be counterproductive, but I, I, I really, really hope that it's not. Same. And, you know, like, I'm, I, I as, as, as a part of the LGBT community in Jamaica, I also have to take some kind of responsibility as well and do my part. And in thinking about it, I'm just like, I can either snub it and be like, yo, this is wrong, they shouldn't be doing that. And then I will be a part of the problem as well. Yes. Like, what am I? What am I going to do personally? What is my responsibility as somebody who is living in the privilege of all the privileges that I live in? Right. Mm-hmm. Like, I kind of have to take responsibility for it. So even though it might not be the way I would do it, I still have to support it, and I still have to help to get it out there. Yeah, because you know it is I mean? a step in the right direction. I mean, I like. I like what they're doing. I get I get the purpose of it and I'm completely behind the purpose of it. So from that standpoint, go them. I hope it does, like you said, goes how it's supposed to. It's not counterproductive because of the name. But I just hope that it I mean, they put a realistic goal on it too. It's at twenty thirty. So that's what, twelve years, eleven, twelve years to hopefully have it kicked up and going right. So I mean, congratulations to them on that because, I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure they had to go through a lot to get it organized and have a sit down with everybody to do like the Facebook Live and everything else and production and everything else that went into it. So mm-hmm. there's, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's <laughs> so much that goes into it behind what we see. So yeah. there's, um, I'm happy that it's happening. But like I said, I just like, just like you said, I don't want it to end up being something that's counterproductive because of the title. Yeah. Well, I mean, 
I think I might be repeating myself, but um, I think I think it's already out there. It's already done, mm-hmm. and there's no point in fighting it. Mm-hmm. I think um, you know we can we can all we can all disagree or 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 think that it should be done in another way or whatever. But at this point, it's not even about that anymore. Yeah, it's about moving moving the cause forward. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. And and so. Uh, yeah, I'm, I just going to support them. I'm going to support them, and uh, and I will continue to get into a fight with every ignorant <laughs> person that I come across. You know what I mean? And it just means that the the, the, convos- the intention behind the conversation now has to be more intense. You know, you definitely have to 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 be more present. Exactly, um, and it's about informing people too. So that's that's the right. biggest thing. Right. So I mean, right. I don't know. Like I've I've shared it on Twitter because I seen it, and it's funny because I saw they put you guys as their WCW yesterday. I was like, oh, <laughs> but what? Like, no? they what? put you and Dinah oh, King. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. I saw that. <laughs> yes. I was just like, are they doing that because I sent them that email <laughs> saying, hey, this is a bad idea. So no, they're trying to kill my joke. I'm kidding. No. <laughs> yeah. 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 I saw that. I, I mean, I'm kind. Of, I'm. That's that's um. It's also. It's also challenging to kind of be really, really public. Uh, I, you know, like I happen to be with somebody that's like a public figure, and yeah. so my business is like all out there, dog. Like it's <laughs> all out there, but um. You know, that's just that's something that that comes with um. You know, to to. What's that phrase? To to whom much is given, is expected. Yes. Yeah. yes. So it's just like you know, so my, my responsibility. Yeah, because you, you know, have the platform that comes with the territory. Yes. Yeah, I do. <clears throat> and if 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 my picture is being shared on, you know what I mean? Yeah. Then I, I have a responsibility. So it doesn't even matter anymore. Whether or not I think this is a good idea, it doesn't matter. I just have to help. Yes. You know? Yes. So that's, um, that's yeah. pretty much it. That, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's yeah. been the, the past couple of days of reflecting on it. Yeah, because when you send the message, I literally, I wanted to be yeah, like, okay, I my flight is going to be delayed. I need to go in the studio now and talk to her. Because <laughs> I saw you message, but, I said, but I'm oh, happy. boy. But I'm, but I'm happy because if we had spoken about it that day, yeah, then I, I would have been a part of the problem. Yeah. I, I would have that. been... I would have been a part of the, the, the reason that I think that's a bad idea. I'm contributing to that. But I'm happy that a couple of days passed and I've had time to think about it. And I had conversations with friends and, and discuss yes. it. Because, you know, sometimes your opinion is not... I mean, especially as Jamaicans, we think that it's, our opinion is right. Yes. Like, you know, <laughs> but sometimes it's, sometimes it's not. And sometimes, even if it is, who cares? Yes. What is the bigger picture? Exactly. You, know? you have to look at what is what is benefiting outside of my personal opinion. Like what is the cause? Exactly. Of this? Yes. Exactly. I definitely. So that's where I am. That's where I am. That's where I'm with it. So I'm just going to try to do my part. Okay. Thank you. Um, I'm glad we had this conversation, and you know, Thank you. <laughs> your take on it and everything else. Because, like I said, I shared this with other people, and I had other people read it. I know some of them didn't finish, <laughs> but I had a friend literally mm-hmm. send me back one with highlights and check marks and questions, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you know, because these are all things. Because some people, like I said, didn't know that it's illegal to be gay in Jamaica to actually have a same sex relationship. So it's, it's bringing light well, to. Some What's illegal, what is illegal in Jamaica is not actually having a same sex, um, is not actually being in a same sex relationship. What is illegal in Jamaica is, um, is anal sex. It's like, mm-hmm. they call it the poultry law. So yes, like, yes. Right. So it's not, so it's not illegal for me to be in a relationship with another woman. That's what I was saying about you being because, a woman. Mm-hmm. Because it's, but because it's so widespread, then technically it's everybody it under the umbrella <laughs> yes. right 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 
so and a, and a lot of people um approach the LGBT community from that standpoint. Yes. And um it's unfair. It yeah. is. And I like that the um the manifesto also included trans lives into it too, as mm-hmm. far as acknowledging mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you know, gender um association and everything else and not, you know, disincluding them and saying that not basically recognizing them for who they are as opposed to their born gender and things of that nature. So I appreciate yeah. them for not just addressing lesbians and gay people. It also included Absolutely. trans. Absolutely. 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 Yeah. Um, you should probably, like, I didn't know that you could do an interview by phone. So maybe you could reach out to them and, and then... Yes, I was thinking body. about that. <laughs> probably call have them up next. Call and then you can have, like, a real conversation. <laughs> yes, I was definitely you know thinking I mean? that. Based on especially what you like said. one person's <laughs> opinion. Definitely. Because yeah. I'm going to actually reach out to them because, like I said, I follow all of their accounts um Mm -hmm. so i interact with them also via twitter and everything so i mean if we can do this again another time and have you come in studio we can talk about this also maybe after i speak to them (laughs) we can come back and rehash and everything else okay or we can just hang out and just you know talk about other problematic things (laughs) of course all right well thank you for having me thank you again to majan webster for calling in That was a great conversation. And like every other week, whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you guys for tuning in.